So I'm in the Tribuli parking lot. Um, these are the units right here. And there's the pond right there, very nice. And I think 28, building 28, I'm sorry, it's a little bit gray out here. I think building 28. There's 33. So let's see. I've got to be close now. I think it's down here at this tall building. 31. That's 30. So this must be. Let's see what this is right here. This is 29. And I think we're going to 28. Yeah, I'd say 28 is the one closest to the road right here. Here, 28. Let's we'll see what we got. You see, it's uh, three levels and the stairs are right there. Okay. So I'm standing up on the balcony, the second floor balcony, looking out over True Blue, and the road's right there. So I come up these steps right here and come down this hallway, and I'm coming down this little hallway. And G's on the right hand side, and this is another unit down here. So we're going to be entering this unit where these windows are right here. So, coming down this way. I'm going to go in this door right here. There's another one. There's F is right there. Okay, so let me open this up and see what it looks like. So now we're going to go into 28G. So looking out that way, I can hear the fountain out there. So nice. And come this way, coming into it. So, first thing I can feel is a nice cool air conditioning when I walk in. And this is a broom. It's a broom closet right here. And there's wood floors. First bedroom. Twin beds. But you could change that out. You know, you could even make this a bunk room, queen beds, king bed. Any size bed would fit in this room. And there's a TV in here. And this is the closet. It's a pretty good size. It's not humongous, but it'll do the trick clean and uh, ceiling fan and come this way cute little sand dollars this is probably the mechanical closet yeah your mechanical closet looks in good shape looks in in real good shape actually HVAC and the hot water heater look pretty new uh, right next to this another bedroom with twin beds and um, so just like I said for the other one this could do a king bed queen bed um, bunk beds, twin beds. Here's your closet. Um, now we're going to go over and look at the, um, let's go look at the living area. But before we get to the living area, I do need to show you this is the bathroom. This bathroom is the bathroom for use by these two bedrooms right here that have the twin beds in them. So here's this bathroom. It's a tub shower combination and the potty and the sink. You can tell it's ready to be rented because I got the, the maids have cleaned and put the towels there. And oh wow, here's the washer and dryer. But it's a full washer and dryer, which is really nice. Full washer and dryer. And here's your kitchen. And it has the stove, microwave, sink. And dishwasher, refrigerator is nice and clean, freezer, and looks good. You know, this is your little small pantry. But, I mean, it's a good, it's a good size pantry. I wonder why they didn't continue those shelves across. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, they want to their own thing, I guess. And then um, this would be kind of like a shelving or a bar area, I guess. You can open this. I don't know if you can open that up or not. And here's your dining room table. It's a nice light fixture. I like it. It's like a linen shade. Like that. And very tropical looking furniture. That's a big chair. It's like a chair and a half. Glass coffee table. Sofa. I wonder if either one of these are sleepers. 
Yeah, that's a sleeper sofa. And this one probably is not. Yeah, that is a sleeper sofa. I guess you have to make a choice there because you can't open both of them. And that's also a sleeper. They're all sleeper sofas. Unless you just push the dining room table back. You'd have to push them back against the wall to be able to use them as beds. But they're all sleeper sofas. And you could put some bar stools right there if you wanted to. Here's the master bedroom. That's not a king bed. I think that's a queen bed. I think I should have put a king bed in. But anyway, it's fine. And um, so we got this furniture in here. And a TV. And a ceiling fan and the screen porch out there. Nice big walk-in closet. And it has um, just the wire shelving up here. And kind of a textured wall a little bit. Can you see it? it's like a textured wall? Still with these wood floors. It's probably like a engineered wood product. And some tile floors in here in the bathroom. Well, I probably need an updated light fixture there. Potty. And this is a sh just a shower. I have to put a new shower head on there. So this is 26B. What did I say this was always? Yeah. Oh, let's go out and look at the screen porch. 20, this is 28G. 28G. I feel like I'm playing bingo here. 26C, 22B. So here's the screen porch. It's nice. I mean, I like how it's long. Uh, it's longer than the one I looked at yesterday. There's the road. There's um, Blue Stem Road right there. You have no buildings behind you, so it's nice and private out here. I would want some kind of fan out here, either a ceiling fan or an oscillating fan. You need a little bit to get this wind air moving out here. That door goes to the um, living room right there. Mm -hmm. So this is the screen porch. It just needs, it needs a little bit of cleaning up. It needs a little scrub scrub. And maybe if you want to do, you really don't need the privacy blinds because nobody's going to be able to see you out here. But it's a nice size. I'd probably do better furniture out here, but it's nice. I like it. So that is um, this condo at True Blue. I like it better than the one I saw yesterday because it's bigger. Closet space is better. Nothing wrong with the flooring. Nothing wrong with bathrooms. Uh, needs a. I probably just need some more decorating just to. But as far as it is now, it's perfect for renting because you couldn't hurt it. Um, I like it. I think it's a good investment. It's clean. It's real clean. Bathroom there. And the other bedrooms. It's kind of nice that these bedrooms are away from the other bedroom for more privacy. And there's your front door. And you have a swimming pool. You saw the swimming pool outside the parking lot. So the swimming pool is very close. Okay? So there you go for, um, what's this one called? 28G. So the front door is down here. We walk down this hallway. I'm gonna walk down this way to get back down to the car. But I did discover there is a storage cat, um, storage closet right here. If you want to have the pool noodles in there, some beach chairs. Not real big, but it's just enough. If you could put a surfboard in there, golf clubs, whatever you want to store in there, it's nice. You can use it for an owner's closet. And then um, I'll go down to the parking lot using these steps right here. Okay. I love that. I love the sound of that. Mm -hmm.